Hi and welcome to the weekly update. Today we are going to be painting our house that we have been building the last couple of weeks. This video will have a lot of different jump cuts so I'm just gonna talk in general about the process. First of all we do a primer layer. This is just ordinary grey interior paint that I picked up from the um, DIY store and the other paints I'm using those are just acrylics from the um, Hobbycraft store and I think I'm using one formula P3 paint for the orange so now we're doing just some weathering we're going, going to go back and forth between grey and brown a couple of times until we are satisfied with the result and we are also going to be using a couple of different techniques so here we have done the first weathering layer basically and we are going to do some stippling with the grey paint just to get some texture try and make the layers of paint very very thin because I think I did six layers of paint on the walls so you don't want to um, mask all the um, details not there, that there are many but still so here we are going in with just the brown paint again Just continue going back and forth between the grey and the brown until we get a result that we are satisfied with. Here I'm doing a dry brush and I'm going in a vertical direction with the paintbrush so get some like streaking effect hopefully it's not very noticeable what I'm doing now is I'm going to mask off all the walls because I'm gonna paint this ladder and the door and the roof and just to prevent me painting too much on the walls, I uh, just mask it off with ordinary painter's masking tape, like this paper tape thing. And what we're trying to do is just put it down as neatly as possible and press it into all the corners so we don't get paint on the places where we don't want any paint. And here we have masked off everything and we are going to use a very dark brown acrylic paint to add the um, first of all the rust layers we are going to add and this will use basically the same technique as we used on the uh, on the walls we just keep adding layers and adding paints very thin layers until we are satisfied with the result so what I wanted was a um, green roof and a green door uh, but very rusted so now we're just 
using one of the Formula P3 oranges just to add the basically orange part of the rust and we just stipple that on everywhere where we want it and trying to not get it where we don't want it so here we can see the uh, rust layers and I might have overdone it a bit but uh, since we are painting with the very thin layers that is easily recoverable and we continue with the stippling with the green just to um, get some texture to it basically so you can see I removed almost all of the of the rust so all that hard work I did with the rust is completely covered and then we just remove the tape that is covering the walls and that is our finished building and some close-up shots on the on the building also I haven't done any basing on it yet I don't I'm going back and forth on what basing I'm going to use for the star gray minis so um, yeah that is it and the final shot is our building with some of my Stargrave minis in front of it. So if you have any comments or questions or anything, put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you on Sunday.